Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 4. So in this episode, I have built the teleportation device, and it's all set up and working. For some reason I still don't have enough power, but I don't know why that is exactly. And I've built like 30 generators. Not 30, but you know, you get the idea. It does seem most of the lights are on, and most of the power. It's going to correct itself the moment I use this thing. Because it's only good for one trip. Now then, I am... In this episode I'm going to go through there, check out what happens afterwards, and that's pretty much the basis for this episode, I think. Everything so let's start. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could. But we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Well, your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Just get on the platform. I'll do the rest. Okay, now that I'm standing here, this does not look safe. At all. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it! Hold on to your butt! Signal rerouted. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Institutionalized. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, 
We must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Here's the big moment. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. And let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you mean to your son. To Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Dun dun dun. Okay, yeah. When I first played this, that that I did not see coming. Would never have seen coming. But in hindsight, I suppose makes sense and does shine a light on how old Kellogg actually was. Is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227. The Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. 
human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> I don't expect you to understand or agree with the decision. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if, more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? <laughs> yeah, that, that this conversation seems a bit repetitive. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. 
I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself. A chance to become acquainted with our procedures. Uh huh. So, what's to learn? Is all that really necessary? What's there to learn? For now, it is enough that you understand that the Institute really is devoted to the betterment of humanity. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay. A globe. Specifically, a clean globe. I have to find my way out of here now. Which is not easy. Oh, there it is. Yeah! Cool. Alright, so one of the division leaders is down here. Almost done. Hi, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Uh-huh. Who built all of this? Who built this place, originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. 
Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. Okay, so that's it. All right, let's go here. Okay, this has to be where the guy is. No? It's an honor to have you here, sir. How is he up higher? Welcome to the Institute, sir. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Just a routine patrol, sir. All right, I have no idea. Necessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary level is Okay, bioscience. Synth Gorilla Project is showing promising results. You're here. Glad you oh. At least it's not a mutated gorilla. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I try not to think so much about it. Yeah, I'm hoping Virgil's room is somewhere nearby. Nice. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm in the wrong area. Oh, damn it. All right, back into the institute I go. No idea what the deal is with that area, but 
Not going back there. I think Virgil didn't work there either. They've got to be nearing his lab, haven't they? Or oh, not? I think I've just done a full circle. Bugger. Alright. Doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Committee. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask. Have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great! I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Is there anything I can do to help out? There might be. Tell you what, you get settled in and check back with me later. I'll see what I can find out. Okay, and let's move along. I'll come back here probably when I have the capability to teleport out of you. And then I'll take a look in that area for Virgil's cure. All right, what's the next one? Is it true food supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. We're all that was my favorite one. With you. Can't we keep it a little all right well i'm gonna carry on with meeting the division heads in the next episode hope you're all enjoying the walkthrough so far this is probably one of the bigger episodes story-wise that i've done uh because yeah it sort of addresses the main quest like the main driving force for my character up to this point since the beginning of the game that is um, so yeah, I hope you're all enjoying, hope you're enjoying the commentary, and hope you all stick around for the rest of the walkthrough, because this is where things get very, very action-y and interesting. If you could leave a like, hit the comment section down below with anything you want, any questions you want to ask me, any uh, shouts for support, uh, or anything like that, put in the comments and by all means they are you know anything's welcome within reason and i will do my best to get back to you uh, also if you want to hit that subscribe button there should be an option at the end of this video it should pop up at any second now hit that subscribe button and you can keep up to date with all my walkthroughs and any of the future content that i do because i don't just do walkthroughs i have a few music videos and uh, gaming music videos and i got like a vlog series and so on so all that gets updated weekly or daily maybe not the music videos they're kind of just like weird projects i do anyway that's pretty much it for this episode thank you all for watching it means a lot uh, until the next episode you take care and have a great day